Before I start, I'd like to give a shout out to my subscriber, Dizzy Gamer Official, for suggesting I review creatures from this game. Thank you, Dizzy Gamer Official, for your suggestions. I appreciate it greatly. If anyone else has any suggestions of disturbing creatures you would like me to review from horror movies or games, let me know in the comments below or in my channel's Discord. Dante's Inferno is a 2010 action-adventure video game featuring amazing, dark, grim visuals that effectively capture the infernal landscape of hell and the game's character design is pure nightmare fuel. Its fast-paced, hack-and-slash gameplay is heavily influenced by the God of War series. Taking place during the Great Crusades, we follow our protagonist, a veteran crusader who, after being assassinated, has to fight his way through the nine circles of hell to rescue his wife, Beatrice, whose soul was dragged to hell by the devil due to Dante breaking his promise to her, which was to deny the pleasures of the flesh, which Dante broke when he cheated on her with a slave during the crusade. Dante is aided by a magical scythe, which he obtained after killing the Grim Reaper with his own scythe in a fight and a holy cross gifted to him by Beatrice before Dante went off to the Crusades. I'll be focusing on three creatures from the game, King Minus, Cleopatra, and Cerberus. King Minus is the second boss Dante encounters. He is the judge of the damned and lives in the circle of Limbo. King Minus is tasked with judging every soul that's sent to hell, determining which of the nine circles that particular soul will be condemned to for eternity. King Minus appears as a withered, elderly man with a large skeleton crown fused on his head. He has two slit nostrils, scaled shoulder guards, a squid-like torso with pale pinkish protrusions, and has a long snake-like tail. He has a chain of officials made from damned corpses hanging around his neck and tied around his arms. In the game, he is depicted as blind, depending on his sense of smell and touch to find his victims. King Minus judges those who are damned by selecting a person and smelling the corruption of their sins. He then loops his tail around their body the amount of loops corresponding to which circle of hell that soul will descend to. Once he decided where they belong, King Minus brutally impales them on his wheel of torture and spins it. The force of the wheel's rotations rockets the soul to the circle of hell they are condemned to. Since King Minus has the grand responsibility of determining what souls belong in hell, he is given many supernatural powers. Supernatural smell allows him to tell what kind of sins people have committed and in combat it allows him to locate his enemies. Superhuman strength Due to his large size, King Minus has great strength allowing him to crush his enemies easily and his punches can cause earthquakes. Nigh invulnerability His scaly skin is highly resistant to damage making him almost invulnerable. However, his weak points are his abdomen head and eyes. Superhuman speed. Despite his large size, King Minus can move extremely quick. He can move his tail extremely fast as well, allowing him to use it as an effective weapon, which he can use to impale his enemies. His favorite way to do so is to send his tail underground, then having it resurface from underneath his enemies, impaling them from below. Minion summoning. King Minus can also summon lower ranking beings to aid him in a fight. Aerokinesis King Minus lets out a loud roar that can cause a powerful whirlwind, which is basically like a small tornado. Cleopatra the Seventh Philopator, also known as Cleopatra, is a major antagonist and the third boss Dante will encounter. 
Her skin color is pale when she's human size and purplish when she's giant size. She has Egyptian style jewelry. She has rings of blood around her eyelids and has the sides of her mouth cut up to her ears, known as a Glasgow smile. She is the queen and personification of lust. She is also the guardian of the circle of lust, which she watches over from her tower with her lover, Marcus Antony, a former Roman politician and general who also serves as a guardian of the circle of lust. When Cleopatra died, she was transformed into a demon in hell and became the guardian of the circle of lust. This was part of a deal she made with Lucifer, allowing her lover, Marcus Antony, to be with her forever, as they both rule it over the circle of lust, in exchange for serving Lucifer faithfully. Cleopatra's powers are shape-shifting. She can shift between giant size and human size at will. Superhuman strength, which she has when she's giant size. Dark aerokinesis, allowing her to generate electricity and call on the storms of lust to create small tornadoes which she can release from her hands. Gut storage, allowing her when giant size to store her lover Mark Antony inside her belly and even summon him out through her mouth to fight Dante. Reproduction, Cleopatra can produce minions from her breast such as unbaptized babies they climb out of her breast to attack Dante. Healing. She can heal others, as seen with her healing Mark Antony while fighting Dante. Sex magic. Despite her demonic appearance, she has powerful magical seductive powers, allowing her to control others through a kiss, turning those who she kisses into her slaves, who become unable to resist her commands. Cleopatra also has complete control over all the demons in the Circle of Lust. Cerberus is one of the most disturbing bosses in the game due to its hideous appearance and body movements. Cerberus is a three-headed hellhound that guards the third circle of hell, Lutony, and it is the fourth boss Dante encounters. Cerberus is located in the entrance of the third circle and when dormant, Cerberus has the form of a giant gray-skinned, decapitated human torso with a rudimentary face upon its upper back. However, when Dante approaches, the flesh peels off to reveal its true form as a monstrous three-headed worm creature with each head sporting a large human-like mouth with rotting teeth and three pairs of small mouths ringed around each head like eyes. Personally, I feel giving Cerberus a worm-like appearance was a good choice in character design because it's unexpected since people are familiar with Cerberus being a three-headed dog. Placing only human-like mouths instead of eyes on the three heads makes Cerberus much more disturbing to look at. As the guardian of gluttony, Cerberus is able to eat an indefinite amount of matter, either souls or filth. Cerberus can burp out souls as an attack by firing souls at Dante. Cerberus can also stretch out to bite with significant damage. These disturbing creatures in Dante's Inferno are sure to make an impression on those who play the game for the first time, and they fit well with the game's overall theme. If you have any suggestion for disturbing creatures from games or movies you'd like me to review, please let me know in the comments down below or in my channel's Discord. Thank you for watching.